Yes, I vowed to continuously make videos about my family and the fact that there's a trust fund belonging to me. I've made several attempts with the police, the Toledo police, and also said things in order to get a message across to certain family members. And I'm going to put this video on YouTube where one day I hope that it will be discovered. Who knows, maybe it'll end up on Netflix and they'll do a documentary about people that had money and then weren't given it. And then after they died, sick family members show up to try and claim it and try and say that the person was mental or it wasn't supposed to go to them or he was a, a bad person. So we didn't tell them. It, the facts are that it's true and it happens. It happens because people put together trust funds and they don't necessarily have attorneys working for them after they die. So when they die, the such documents get discovered by a family member. And of course those family members are jealous. So they keep it. That's how people die and end up having money and weren't given it. It just happened not that long ago in Lucas County to a gentleman who died and he had a $2.5 million inheritance, probably in a trust fund. But my guessing is he never found out. He never knew. And then a family member and an attorney showed up in court and it was on the news. So that's typically how people find out that somebody had money. I don't really think it's, it's rare. I think it's very rare that a person like me would actually find out I found out because I was living with my sister Heidi and I was at her house that she rented one day and she, she was there and a friend came over. Her name's also Heidi and they were talking and she was talking about it flat out. I was upstairs in my bedroom and they were talking about it and she talked about this trust fund and how it was a mistake and it was supposed to go to her and it was from grandpa, my grandpa, who's been dead for 25 years and how she claimed, claimed she was going to take it from me when I died and the most messed up thing is how the hell does she know she's going to outlive me apparently she does because she tells people that she plans on taking it from me when i die and she's going to tell the judge or convince the judge that it wasn't supposed to be mine it was supposed to be hers and it was a mistake and so that was their option to let me die and not tell me because they're like i said they're gonna they're gonna claim all sorts of bad stuff and try and justify not telling me but that's not the way the law works and i highly doubt that they'll get it in the end but my brother charles he knows he's a detective he refuses to even acknowledge the fact that there was a conversation he he refuses to even come to me after it's been brought up to the toledo police the sylvania police he refuses yes i made death threat towards him and even after that he refuses to acknowledge this trust fund because he knows it's the truth and he knows he would have to admit that he stood around all this time, decades, knowing full well that I have money and an inheritance that's not being given to me. And I think it's pretty bad. But that's family. Family, they're worst. And everybody knows if you've, you've been alive for, you know, as long as I have, you know that family is the worst when it comes to money. I, I don't care if it's your brother, your mother, your sister, your your son they'll they'll kill you they'll they'll screw you out of money they're the number one people that will take it from you and anyways i just hope that if i don't get my trust fund before i die when i die this video is discovered on youtube among other ones and they can make a documentary about my family and how they purposely kept my trust fund from me till i died because they didn't want me to have it and that's that's basically what what's happened they want to keep it from me and i vow to keep posting videos until one day it, it can be made into a a, a a documentary on netflix or american greed you know i don't know with, with the, the douchebag detective that couldn't stand it that his brother had more money than him and his wife and i pretty much do so you know and i hope to give my money to my nephew one day ryan joseph disher but it may never happen because I'll be gone and they'll they'll be standing there claiming that it's their money. And that's what they're going to try and do. But good luck. Peace out.